Well, of course you're gonna be sad if you can't even groom yourself, you silly penguin. There, that's much better. Aw, oh, do you feel better? Alright, intern, I think the, the Emperor Penguin feels better. He was complaining that he, you know, was feeling kind of dirty, and I think we might need to check. Let's see, how's the water doing? Oh, yeah. Man, these belugas. Hi, Beatrice! Hey, are you doing okay, Penguin? Yeah, I think she's doing okay. Oh, look at that little baby take a nap. Listen to everybody. Yeah, but the water definitely is dirty. Oh, while we're down here, why don't we replenish the shellfish? Oh, but yeah, everything, everybody so far is going okay, intern. I've been checking on everyone who had any complaints. For the most part, our zookeepers are doing a great job of taking care of everybody. Let's clean these filters. That'll really help. There we go. Ah, there. Our itty bitty little dinos are still doing okay. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> look at the moss on this. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? That absolutely gorgeous moss that forms this little cup. It's just like a little cup moss that looks like a teeny little teacup that just curls up all green and collects water and dew. Oh, I love lichen. Lichen mosses. Mm, some of my favorite things in the world. But yes, in turn, we are going to be quite busy. We're going to be moving our lovely Nessie family, our little Loch Ness ones, as everyone likes to say, into that exhibit. So we need to start preparing that exhibit for them. I don't think... We're going to move all of the individual pieces of like the coral reef though. I think we'll kind of start fresh because otherwise that'll, that'll just take us forever. Oh, I'm so excited to see that project get started too. All right, come here, come here Nessie. All right, let's pick you up and move you over here. There you go, darling. Now what's next? Let's go ahead. Yeah, I want to make sure the water, oh, look at that. Much better quality for her. So let's go ahead and move over the whole family and pluck out what we think we might keep. Like, here's Nessie the second, their little girl. So we're gonna move her over here. Look at how much bigger this is for them. Oh, I just think they're gonna be so much happier. I can't wait to see, what? What are you doing? We can't have kelp just floating around in the air like that. Kelp, you either stay in the fish tank or you go home. Gonna, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Staying in the fish tank. That's what I thought. And I'm very excited because after we move these guys, we can open up our shark tank so that we can have more coastal sharks. There are quite a few more coastal sharks that'll get along. So we can knock down this wall, give these guys more space, spread this out. Pretty excited about that. That should be really, really nice. Let's see. Oh, no little clam bubbler. Nessie the second was uh, thinking that she wasn't as entertained as she could be, so we might add, add another one in just a minute. All right, and let's go ahead and find our ammonites. I have hired a new, new zookeeper who's going to be taking care of all the prehistoric animals over on the strip, as well as the whales. He's going to keep an eye on the whales for us. I really hope we have enough money left over after all of this to be able to get Knight a new princess because he's just so lonely and he whales are so social they don't do well when they are kept isolated like this so hopefully we can save enough money that we'll be able to get him taken care of let's see let's let's I'm at 6 I'm at 5 where's I'm at 5 all right there we go and I'm at 5 dang it lime there we go lime's out of her box all right, now, let's see, let's examine this. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth our time to pick it all up piece by piece. So let's go ahead, kind of clear this area out, get it ready for our coastal sharks to take over because I think that they're really gonna appreciate it and enjoy, enjoy being in here. So let's prep it for them. Do you have what we need to change the salinity of the water? So that is good for our little coastal guys. Let's see, gotta get, get these out of here too. There's that, and then that, there we go. All right, so let's change this to coastal. There we go, some nice coastal water. That should do it. And then let's go ahead and celebrate by letting these guys have a little more space, huh? All right, let's, let's see. Let's come over here. Come down here. 
Can you get it in turn? That's okay. Sometimes you just have to move some of the, the heavier things out of the way so we can get to the foundation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. We'll be able to add so many more sharks. That's something I've been hoping to do for a long time. And isn't it just amazing? We've been doing this together for almost 10 years now, intern. And isn't it amazing to see how everything has changed? You can see where we've learned new building skills. You can see where we've changed our idea of how we want to decorate exhibits, how big we want to build exhibits. The zoo looks a little bit hodgepodge in some places. <laughs> really hodgepodge in some places, but we're going to make it work. All right, let's see how our sharks enjoy that. Oops, got in the tree. Let's wiggle out of the tree. Oh, hello, sir. I hope you're enjoying the nice music, nice view. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Now that we've finally gotten our hands on being able to get some small fish, I think we are going to rebuild the marine exhibit, like the entrance, I mean, so that we have a little marine exhibit that has a whole bunch of small fish just on both sides. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go. <gasps> What's going on here? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Children! Children, why are you stuck here? Oh no! Oh no, what's going on? Oh, drat! It's like some sort of sinkhole opened up. Okay, calm down, guys. Uh, everyone, remain calm. I will, I will, I will get this fixed. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't fixed. That was the opposite of fixed. By get this fixed, I meant, I didn't mean that either. Oh, fudge knuckles. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. No reason to panic. There we go. See? See? Things are things are exactly as they need to be. There's no reason to sue. Everyone's okay. Are you okay? You guys can have, like, you guys can have, like, a dozen, two dozen dolls from our gift shop. Just please don't tell your parents. Okay, maybe, like, you... Don't keep secrets from your parents. Just tell them that it was fun. You enjoyed being in a sudden sinkhole that had opened up in our, our Shark Tank area. There's no reason to alarm anyone, right? Oh, man. I really hope they they aren't traumatized by that. I I, I know I, I am a little bit. That was a little bit alarming. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Okay, I think they're going to be okay, though. So, oh, goodness. So let's get over here and get to work on building up the new reefs. Oh, look at our happy little Ammonite. He's seeing something stimulating. Ooh, and these coral formations. There we go. So I think we'll start by putting these over here. Kind of like as a, a layout. And then we're going to come in here with our large reef rocks and start getting to work. We're going we're gonna to make like... Let's see, let's come over here. Yeah, there we go spread things out a little bit so by piecing the rocks together we're kind of gonna just spread out and make a nice little reef that we'll have like crawl over here yeah there we go yeah we can put put a couple pieces this way so yeah we're gonna manually hand build up a reef now in turn I'm pretty excited I have a feeling we're going to be placing a lot of very small individual things, but that's okay because this is going to be a beautiful reef for quite a few animals that totally deserve to have the best. I mean, look at how much space they have now. This is so much more space than these guys have had before. Oh, I think they're really going to love it. Oh, let's turn the clam bubbler around because it won't be able to work right there. And then let's get back to our rocks. There we go. Put it there. We're gonna go ahead and put it here. And here. Oh yeah, look at that. We can make a little, yeah, like kind of tuck things right there. Good, and we kind of want to connect our reefs. Let them come together. Oh, this is going to be just beautiful. And we haven't even gotten to working on the individual individual pieces of coral yet oh look at that yes this is gonna be fun oh look at these giant clams I love the giant clams okay let's stick a giant clam no actually let's stick it kind of back here I think that's a nice little spot for a clam a few more clams sprinkled about kind of funny since there's the clam bubbler 
And so we'll get another clam. Another thoughtful little clam back here. And then we have our lovely feather star. So things are gonna start getting a little interesting. Yeah, see? And start just sort of sprinkling some color around. Reefs are one of my favorite exhibits to work with because there is just so much diversity, so much life and color and detail that goes into all of these. We look at the brain coral. Ah, oh, pink brain coral, awesome. That's just so totally cool. There we go. So we're going to get these kind of sprinkled about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that might be enough. Oh, look at the table coral. Oh, I love these guys. They're just, this is, this is what it's all about in turn. It's providing the diversity, providing everything so that these guys have what they need. Oh, I love it. What else do we have in here? Ooh, look at the little fire coral. Oh my gosh. Little sticks of fire coral. I'm gonna put you right over here. Let me stick some of you right down here. I love it. It comes in its own little rock. Oh, that's so pretty. Put you over here. What else? Ooh, staghorn coral. I mean, look at all the sea whips. Almost forgot about our good old sea whips. They're always very good at providing a little bit of contrast. Let's see. Let's put a couple. Like a couple over here. There we go. Ooh, look at these guys. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what we need. You know, this is just wonderful, intern. Do you see what one grant, one grant with the extra money that we've been trying so hard to get for so long through donations and other things can do? The way it just changes our entire zoo. We're gonna have better, like the entire prehistoric exhibit is owed to this company that gave us this beautiful grant. I mean, and to think about how we've been able to expand our Shark Tank exhibit. This is what it's about. One little donation may not seem like a lot to you and me or to the people who give it, but the effects that it have just ripples through and helps everything. So just remember that, you know, next time somebody asks you for a couple dollars and you think, oh, what difference is a couple dollars going to make? It eases up the pressure on trying to make things, the ends meet so that you can actually get stuff done like build a coral reef inside an exhibit so it can look totally awesome and beautiful. Oh, I love these. All right, let's sprinkle a few more of them around. Here we go. There we go. All right. Oh, look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. This is going to be absolutely just fantastic. It's going to be full of life. <gasps> look at these guys. Oh, look at them. Just look at them. Look at the way they look sticking out. Sticking out there. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. Can you just not wait? I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait to get in here so we can just start diving. I'm very excited about that intern just so we can start diving in. Seeing what things are doing. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put some. Of, ooh, look at this! Very beautiful, nice large specimens that we've got here. Kind of put them around. There we go. There's that. Maybe one more. Yeah. Let's put it over here. <gasps> look at the little sea urchins! Oh, they're so cute! Did you know sea urchins actually eat uh, starfish? Some of them eat starfish. So, let me see. We have a little. We've got some sea urchins right here. And they're chasing this starfish. Run for it, Mr. Starfish! Run as quickly as you can! So, we'll sprinkle some of these starfish around. And let's see. Let's get some more, more species mixed in. Oh, look at this. This is. <gasps> sea cucumber! Oh, let's hide in a few sea cucumber. That'll be so fun. We can just sneak a couple sea cucumber in here. There's one. There's one. And there we go. Let's see, we already have some of these. I think we're good there. Maybe a couple more table coral. Some more staghorn coral. 
coral takes so long to build up, the slow process of all these organisms dying and leaving behind their exoskeleton, their hard shell casing for new creatures to come and live in and then they die and build on top of it and it's just a beautiful fascinating process. I've always loved coral reefs. All right, there we go. That should be that should be good. That should be good. Okay. Now, one more thing that I want to do in terms of foliage is just at the very back of that exhibit next to their kelp bed. I want to add just a few of the small kelp just at the back cuz you know, a little a little touch of green makes everything in life better in my opinion. Yeah, look at that. And we're just gonna kind of tuck these at the very back back here. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotta love the greenery. Gotta love it. Fill in this little gap. It just provides, even though they might not really care that there's kelp in there, it provides a little bit of balance for the people who are coming and who are gonna see this exhibit and just go, wow. Right, let's add a lot of yellowfin tuna in here around for fun. You know, I think we should add some of the manta rays in here too. I think the manta rays would really enjoy this. We can even put in another clam bubbler for the baby. We'll put it over there. All right, now let's make sure we've got plenty of artificial reef with fish put kind of everywhere for them to eat. Yeah, there we go. And then what else? Let's see, they should be good now. Ammonites. Would you, would you have any, any requests? Any particular request? Ooh, block of ice with clams. You know what? We can handle that. We'll put some research into it. There we go. You know what? I think that that should be absolutely fantastic for them. Though we do need, since we're gonna have that new guy coming to help take care of them, we do need to provide entrances so that he can get into the tank to take care of them. Stick those there. Stick that here. All right, what do you think, guys? Woo! Splashing water. Oh, gracious. All right, so big splashies. But what do you think? Are you excited? Are you looking for... Woo! Went down a little too far. Are you looking forward to this, guys? Trainer, you know what? Trainer Simon, I've been thinking about this. I think we're done training the sea otters. So thank you very much for your time and your years of dedication. But I think we're done. In fact, we're done, I think, even having our sea otters perform. So let's just, let's just take this whole thing out. We're just gonna knock it all out and expand the sea otter exhibit at a later date. So that'll be something that we work on later. But we're, you know, we're, we're not gonna have the sea otters train anymore. They can just go back to, to being silly little beautiful sea otters that are totally awesome as they are and apparently still freaking eating our green sea turtles. I better clear that out before someone sees it. Oh dear. Behave! But we'll, we'll expand this and make it so that the sea otters can have some more compatible species living with them. So that be, could be pretty fun. Alright, let's see. Come over here. Let's jump in and see how, see how they like it. Wiggle wiggle. Oh, look at all the tuna swim by. Look at the ammonites. What do you think, Nessie the second? Oh, look at this. Look at this busy, thick, rich coral reef. Oh. Look at all the little fish. I just, I love it. What do you think? In fact, speaking of little fish, I wonder. We now have access to a whole new fishery catalog. And I think, not beta fish, they are, see there's all sorts, there's catfish, there's a discus. I wonder if we have any fish that would be, what about you? A John Dory, huh? Coastal, huh? You'd probably enjoy it in here. I could probably uh, convince you to enjoy that. Let's see, lion head, no. Yeah, that's a manatee. But yeah, see there's several new fish that, that we can get. The black moor. Black moors are pretty cute. Looks like mostly fish that go. Oh, red parrot fish! Let's add several of these so we'll get like six of them going in here. 
And then what do you eat, red parrotfish? Don't need to even worry about feeding you. That is wonderful. So we'll, we'll add the red parrotfish in here. That's exciting. Let's see, not the cichlids. Not the snake heads. The three spotted stickleback, or stickleback, excuse me. Siamese tiger fish. Look at all these awesome fish. I'm so excited about that. And the yellow tail clown fish. There we go. We'll get a little, little population of them in here too. Ah. Oh. And then they'll, they'll start swimming around and schooling and moving and grooving. Oh, look at our ammonites. Look at the happy fish. Everyone's happy. Oh, and this tank is just like stuffed full now. That's so cool. They're, they're swimming off. And this is full of life. I'm, I'm very happy. I think this is going to be absolutely wonderful. I think all these animals are going to be totally happy. The only thing that I want to add, the last thing, carcass? Why another carcass? Dang it. Honestly, you guys. Are you out of shellfish again? Sometimes that happens. They run out of shellfish for one reason or another because the zookeepers forget to fill it. They are totally out of shellfish. No wonder they're eating all the turtles. Oh, I am so taking the zookeepers in charge of this tank to task about that. We do not let our animals run out of food. Improper care is not the way we do things in this zoo. Hm. Alright, let's see. You! Manta Ray! Would your mate and child, or... Well, yeah, we could bring one of your kids. Would you like to move here? And we'll bring your mate. Who's right... Here. And one of your children. It's uh, Manta Ray 30. How about that? Manta Ray 30. And then we'll get one child Manta or one more Manta Ray to go with the child. Let's see, what are you? Male or female? You're female. So let's snag one male Manta Ray. And then I will feel like this tank is absolutely hopping. Ooh, this guy. I forgot about him. He is a coastal. Ooh, very expensive. I don't think we're gonna see a grant for this puppy for a little bit. I think we're gonna have to like, yeah, no, I don't think we're gonna see a grant for that guy. If we did, we might put him in here, but that's gonna be our shark tank area. Wow. Maybe when we have an expanded well like area, we can just like enclose another, another chunk and expand the extinct species area. We'll have to think about that. Maybe someone will give us another grant. I'll see if I can ride around and, and find somebody who'd be willing. But just last thing, and then we'll break for, for actually the day. We've been here a long time in turn, so we'll go ahead and break for the day. But I know that we've got more manta rays that people are willing to adopt out to us. In turn, I really should make you be able to sort this for me so that we can find everything easier. That would make life so much better. But isn't this just beautiful? Oh, oh, there we go. And now we need a little boy. Gonna go ahead and adopt out a male. And then jump on in. And look at this. The yellowfin tuna will be eaten pretty soon and that's a good thing. And meanwhile, everything else. Everything else is just busy and beautiful. And I think everyone's gonna be so happy. Oh, look at everything. This is this is just beautiful. Nessie, Nessie the second. Are you are you happy about this? Her parents are exploring. Oh. Just freaking gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm so I'm so happy. Don't they look happy? They look happy if you ask me. All right, in turn. Will you go ahead and go get some sleep? I'm going to go ahead and stay here with these guys a little bit longer and just make sure they're adjusting all right. So go get that water out of your ears and good luck taking a shower tonight so you don't smell like fish. Bye-bye.